I think Afterlife with all their artists, they are really leading the genre of modern melodic techno. And today we are going to take a look at one of their most popular artists, Colin, which only means that we are going to make some stripped down beat like this. And on top of that, we are going to make this LO4 driven pretty fancy scenery, synth riffs like this. So if you're into the genre, pop in. We will start with the kick. I will go to my Mercury Corp premium artist sample packs. By the way, we have Black Friday on Mercury Tones, 25% off if you are if you want to get these packs. Take a look. Kicks. I have already kind of a calling kick here. Let's put that on. So I transpose it one note down because the track that we are making is an F sharp minor. Sounds like this and shorten up a little bit. Now let's put the hi-hat so that we can balance them together. Sounds like this. And on top of that, a simple groove. EQ. Overdrive. Delay for house effect. And side change the kick. Simple hi hat sound on the high end. We are going to contrast it with more humanoid shakers. So let's grab the samples first. So I have two hi hat samples from my sample back. The first one sounds like this, and the second one sounds like this. So this is a short attacky, darker sound. This is brighter and less attack. The important thing over here is that LFO or here on the random mode, and it's actually a sign for the fading of this guy. So when you play it. It's really like a human human playing it because the attack is always changing. And I put a slight overdrive here and the other one has a slight EQ on top. So let's play it on push to make some nice groove. And with a little bit correction, we have this nice, nice sound. But on top of that, to make it really, really ambient, we need kind of a white noise hat. So I'm going to just find the sample for that. So we have this nice, dark, white noise-ish. White noise, really, not voice noise. I am trying to make a hats from this, a bit EQ. Auto pan. Really slow, and then vocoder. Reverb. And double glue. And all together now. Really cool. We can probably decrease down a bit this one. And then we can definitely group process them. Announcement time. Last two weeks for the four producers one sample community edition. So take a look at this video if you know more, if you need more information. So it's basically I picked a sample and you are going to make a, make a track out of it. A short track, two to three minutes. And then we are going to pick four winners and the winners will get some prizes. Plus they will have their own four pieces one sample video on this channel. Really, really cool challenge. Take a look. Select all, control G. I want to brighten this sound up. Slightly bright overdrive. Glue them together. And cut super lows. Just bring the sound to the front, I would say. And the third piece will be super typical percussion sound that these artists use a lot. So you just need a simple rim shot, really. Slightly stereo rim shot, sounds like this. You can find very similar one on my sample pack as well. And then slight EQ and side chain to kick together with the track. Just give this kind of more driving feel. So let's put the clap now to just conclude this kind of percussive side of the track. A simple clap sound from my sample pack kind of organic unlock sound and clap and slight overdrive and EQ on top and together really this stripped down simple groove up to now it's quite simple but things get really interesting when you start adding the instruments the first thing will be of course the bass so we need this plucky sound plucky bass sound very heavy as well I'm gonna go for the analog and pick something like this because if you scroll through the wavetable 
it has this really nice it has this really nice softer sound and i'm gonna bring down the random because i want to like start from the beginning here right here all the time every hit so the sound will be very stable uh, we will start with, with this one first let's get the envelope right so it will be very fast envelope uh, let's bring this down and play something like this and we will support this with a sub and i'm gonna put this one octave below and if we play one more time the second thing that we need of course and make another uh, envelope like this really really short one and put that one in on the cutoff and if it happens to be this way you can just shift alt and click here so that it will be one-sided and what i'm going to bring this down and activate this and i'm going to go for the more a bit more authentic filter here the german lp and if we play again really really cool sound we're going to give it a bit dry and put everything inside the filter so even this guy goes into filter and the more important thing here is just using a bit distortion to get this really white noises so i will have actually two layers for that because i in the origin track it's really exaggerated so what we are going to do go for down sampling here you start to hear this the sound we are going to go for all the way up it's really distorted and we, then we are going to go for the post and we're going to pull off high pass like this all the way up but then we are going to bring the mix down somewhere around here and we can definitely make it really high if you are having trouble to hear it you can make it always like this the one thing that we forget is getting a bit release here both of them slightly and this is our initial sound uh, the problem with this sound is that it doesn't have this distorted high layer in on top so what i prefer is making another layer and just distort that layer the way i want it because i'm going to use a lot of amps and so on to make to get that sound let's play the notes here so that we can get the groove going announcement time black friday is here on mercurial tones we have 25 percent discount on all the different presets and sample packs and the project files and so on so if you want to buy anything from me and if you want to support the channel or if you are looking for new presets and sample this is really the perfect time i will put the link below so take a look the deal will end the first of december so you, you won't have much time with a little bit fixing looks like this now and what we are going to do put compression uh, side chain compression and slide eq on top let's do that we're going to use both of them the first one is the kick the second one will be the clap so we are going to duck the bass both when the kick hits and the clap is so sounds like this if i play solo when the clap hits we are really exaggerating it uh, really nice trick and then slide eq to cutting super highs here together with the track Even though the clap is really not really loud, it's still in the front because of that. This was the first layer. Let's do the second layer now. I just copied the same patch. The only difference is the, the distortion here is much higher. So we have more distortion sound in this one. But that's not really enough. I want to exaggerate the effect. So I put an amp. And then EQ to just cut off that distortion area. And you can, depending on the, how you feel, you can actually open this up if you want to have the exaggerated effect. Like this. And if you play with the bass. If you don't want that um, down sample distortion, you can cut this off because we're also getting out of distortion from amp, for example, if you play one more time. But I really like the tone of it, so I'm going to keep it. And together with the track it just adds this like a distortion layer on top of that and on top of this we need kind of a constant bass sound just to feel the background and warm it up warm the track up a little bit so let's put that so this is just f sharp single note playing all the time for this layer and on top of that we have this super simple serum patch single oscillator slide unison sounds like this And of course, slide EQ and side chain the kick and all together. 
there's really nice groove going on. The only thing that's missing there was kind of a groove synth on the reference track. So I want to add this one as well. So we're going to bring in a serum. For this type of sounds, you don't want to go super long sounds, but more like a percussive pluckish uh, sound is better. I would say I'm going to go for Bodo Slater's basic Moog. Let's put that down. And the filters or the waveforms, I want to get something a bit different. So really anything that you like, let's pick something like this kind of a small squares into a, a sorted. And the same thing over here, maybe go for in between triangle. And so I you really need to be creative here. I would suggest being a bit away from the sawtooth just, just to sound a bit more original. And then we can activate the low pass filter here. Moog 12 is good enough. To make the sound play here, we're going to go for the envelope. So if I play now and send both the oscillators into it, we can make it brighter by putting this one octave above. A slight release. Maybe shorter. And then we are going to do the same thing on the second envelope as usual. Bring this down, put this to the right side, bring this down. Right? And then I'm going to make it like a bit more detuned. Just like that. And then we are going to go for effects, a little bit hyper dimension. We're going to bring this down, but use this guy. And then a bit distortion. And then we're gonna go for the chorus. Less. And a reverb. Get the highs off. And finally, I'm gonna use an EQ to just cut super, super lows. Yeah, this is good enough. Let's play the chord. So we are, we want to have this a groovy chord hits, more or less. After a slight correction, it looks like this. And together with the effects, And together with the track. And the final touch on this one is the just deep pad that we always do. Let's put a serum and fix that. So in this one is like we always do, right? I got two oscillators here. The second one is one octave up. And we are moving the wavetable position with this LFO one here. And the envelopes are super simple. And then we have super nice low pass 6 dB, so it's really not aggressive at all, so the smooth sounding. And then on the effect side, we have a slight chorus and rip. Let's play a single chord on this one to get the sound. This brings us to probably the most important elements in the track, which are the main synths. We will start with this melody synth first, and on top of that, we are going to do that LFO pad sound. So let's put the serum here now. So the first thing that we are going to do is putting an arpeggiator even before we start the sound design, so that we have this repeating sound. And then we are going to open the filter and send both oscillators into the filter and turn both oscillators on. Brass sound often means that like a sawtooth wave, with a slow attack. Uh, but it is always nice to actually make the sound a bit richer by adding kind of square waves into it or other shapes into it. So what I'm going to do here, go for this wave tables for both oscillators. The reason being is that this one has this cool sawtooth. And then we're going to bring this one octave down. And then here we're going to go all the way up to bring this um, square wave. And I want less randomness on this one and bring this down both so that we have steady sound and then we are going to fix our envelope so I'm going to get something super short so we have this type of sound going on and then we're going to take this LFO one make it a bit more aggressive like this and then put it on the cutoff shift alt again one sided and bring this down like this you probably start to hear what I'm going with this one if I open this a bit more and then maybe make it to 1.8, so it's faster. 
-hmm. now we are getting there right and then i'm going to bring down the resonance and bring down up the fat starts to be really cool and then i'm going to add a noise layer analog alpha and then here on the level side we're going to put this guy on top so that this one also noise also plays around with the horn sound or the breath sound the one thing that's missing at the moment is release so that it does not end abruptly so we are immediately getting there i'm not going to touch too much on the effects side here because i want to use the effects external so the first thing is the reverb and then i'm going to take this off bring this down something like this low cut the one thing that i want here is now that bring this down so that the noise is more biased towards the sorted you can always bring this down of course and then volume this up Just like that and then i'm gonna get uh eq cut the super lows because this sound doesn't have that much of super lows just like that and on top of that i'm gonna get the glue to glue everything together so the reverb will be a part of the sound just like that and we have the sound ready If you enjoyed the video and if you feel like it's adding something to you please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel now because it helps a ton but let's continue yeah and we have the first uh, synth down and the second one is a bit more complex and it will take a bit longer time to make it so tighten your seat belts because we are jumping into the making a lot of envelopes and lfos to get a sound so the first thing that i want to do is getting this more exotic wavetable so in this case i'm gonna go for the analog and pick the juno for both those layers turn them on analog juno and then i'm gonna even activate the sub to get along with so this one will be minus one so one octave down and this one will be zero and this one also be minus one and then we're gonna activate the filter and go for the mooc 24 and if i just play random things here let's send everything into the uh, filter instead of noise so the noise will be outside when we edit just like that however i'm gonna move this one a little bit and to get this one this one sounds a bit thinner and it's exactly what we want for this type of sound and then i'm gonna activate unison for these guys and this one will be nine so this is really white noise and i'm bringing this down a bit and then we're gonna activate the analog and then get our pink and if we play so that you hear that uh, noise then the important thing over here is understanding how we are going to use the envelopes when you in the origins track the white noise comes in first and then comes the oscillators afterwards so there is a delay between these two it could be simply that maybe he just used the different layers and automated differently so it's easier solution but i want to do everything in a single shot and i really believe that most of the things that we are going to do with the envelopes and uh, lfos probably he just uh, automized it so easy solution but we're going to make it really robust pre robust preset now so what we are going to do first bring this down and give a bit of long release so we have this continuous sound and then we can turn this on so that when we play higher notes this opens more and more bring this down bring this up drive a little bit just like that then the second thing will be the utilizing the envelope so like i mentioned earlier the sounds these guys comes later in the track and what we are going to do take the second envelope like make it kind of maybe something like this and put on to the levels on the other side so i'm going to do like this right and the same thing over here i'm going to do like this if i play the 
they come a little later and I'm gonna bring this down and do the same thing so we hear this white noise uh, in the end but then white noise has to go disappear so the white noise and then the oscillators the same idea applies here as well but the white noise I think goes a bit smoother so I'm gonna use the third envelope for this and then we're gonna go like this right it starts up and then goes down other way around so it should be like this so the white noise top in the beginning and then goes back in the background this is the only the first part of the equation then what we have to do is using the LFO to make the sound like a yeah, classical code in LFO right and I'm gonna do it something like this uh, to make it slightly and this goes to the different places so it goes to the cutoff, it goes to the levels, and it goes really a lot of places on this, in that sense. So what I'm going to do, we can even bring this down a little bit more. Start with the cutoff first, put it here. And if I play. And then we are going to go for the not BPM so that we can do like this. Right? And then the same idea, this goes to the level, like this. And this goes to this level. Right, like that. So in the beginning we don't hear it and then they come gradually while LFOing the sound. And the same thing over here, the levels. Just like that. And if we play now. That really really cool sound. We of course gonna do the same thing here as well, the noise. Let's try. <laughs> really really fun sound. But again, like I said, I try to use the envelopes to like the schedule the sounds, but in the origin track it will be just two different layers and one layer just comes a bit earlier. It could be as simple as that. But I like to do it this way. And then we're gonna go to here and then go for the filter. The idea is those super high noises that we don't really need it. So I'm gonna open this up still, but still slightly closed. And if I play now, go back. And it doesn't end here. And the other thing is the position or how, how aggressive this guy is also changed. In the beginning, it's like a longer attack and then it comes down here like this. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. I actually put a macro so that I can move the macro together with the cutoff so that you can play it. Um, but you can also add the envelope to move this around. But what we are going to do, basically I'm going to go for the, you can just click here to be honest, uh, modulate X, so the X movement, right? Uh, L4 bus one, and then you can go for the macro one here, which means that now you can move this guy to move this guy, if that makes sense. And then you can go for the matrix here, it is a bit easier to understand the one sided right here and we will go there like this and amount is maybe around here so it gets pretty uh, like this and if you play it do you hear the difference it's just like uh, makes it more plucky when you move the macro this way and makes it more like loop sound when you go that way. That is more or less actually to be in this sound, then you have to play around while you're playing it. Uh, we, we will come back to that part. And then outside the synth, uh, there are a lot of effects going on as well. The first thing is of course the glue, because this I like to do it this way because I'm lazy, because I don't want to automate the volume. So putting a glue compressor after the dynamic sounds can help you to really avoid super loud or super quiet parts because such squishes the things a bit uh, in this case so if I play right like this it's just there to just squish down a little bit and then we're gonna get an echo and we're gonna make it a bit dark 1.8 is fine and we're gonna put it here something like this and put a ping pong Just like that. And finally, there's a reverb. There's actually a sand. I'm going to use the sand in the track, but just, just to illustrate it, I'm going to put it here. And then you probably put something like this. Put a high 
and a bit longer probably. And then of course that all comes down to the playing with the rate all the way. And in the meantime cut off and of course the macro position. There are a lot of things to play. There's the reason that you have to automate a lot. You cannot control three different things by fear because you have two hands, right? But let's play this now so that you can hear a bit how it's played out. By the way, I made similar sound, but for the Amor track from the Colin with the pigments as well. So if you are using pigments, it actually has a bit better way of controlling the, all these routing things. So I will edit it here so that you can take a look. For me, that sounds slightly prettier, but doesn't really matter that much. And together with the track, So now we have most of the meat of the track here. The rest is just automating and playing around, putting, putting those ambient shimmer reverbs on the place, on the sands and sanding stuff and creating the ambience on. So let's see we should the full project now and then go through those different important parts in the track. So the first thing to take a look at is actually the track starts with a single the bass like we started and then it changes into the chord progression when the the pad sounds comes in it's basically the same groove but it's just just playing around so that we have chord progression going on and the other thing is just adding this slight whoops and pads to for example this one the vowel pad let me show you the patch i just created this on the go um, if you are looking for more human sounds like vowels the serum has this nice uh, vowel pads not many, but it's enough to create this kind of more like a humanoid sound. And if you add something like a flanger on top of that, it gets really like somebody's singing style, if, ma if that makes sense. And I just automated the, for example, cutoff and shimmer. And then I resample the track itself with a huge shimmer and get this guy. And there's the one octave tuned down version of this, I think the transpose 12 here, exactly, and the darker version. Put everything into this huge shimmer, this is really important. I'm sending quite a bit of stuff to shimmer all the time to create this like ambiences uh, on transitions, like for example here, sending to uh, shimmer. I think here I'm sending shimmer as well. So the C here is shimmer. You can see that it's automated. I think I'm even sending the bass here. Yeah, here, for example, this guy is sending over here. So those big transitions more or less made by sending uh, the stuff inside the shimmer reverb so that you have these big ambiences. You will hear a bit closer when I play around, I will say. And here we have this three type of different things. The important thing here is the whole reverb. I'm just using the ozone to make it like tighter. The low end is a bit mono and then brighten it up on the high end. It's a simple trick to with the reverbs. If you want to more mono compatible reverb, you can actually make the low end mono with your reverb and then open up the high end to get a bit more like a, let's say bigger reverbs, but at the same time, mono compatible reverbs as well. And here I'm sidechain compressor to kick as well uh, in the meantime. And then we have a simple delay and then another synth delay that I'm using for, I think, uh, for this guy here. If I remember correctly, yeah, I'm not using them either. So probably I'm not using it anymore. And then I have a simple reverb just to, I think this one is for the drums because highs are opened up basically sending the high hats to give this groove. But let, let's let do a start to finish and then I can try to show you around as much as I can and show you the automations, the notes, one more time if you want to copy them and if you want to understand them. And then yeah, let's see how it sounds all together.
And yeah, that was it. Um, and the, of course, the project is available on my Patreon if you want to take a look. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. And I will catch you next one. Goodbye.